Hey everybody, it's uh, Billy D here with my camper rebuild videos I've been making over the years. So it's been, uh, I believe, four or five years now since I've had this. I just got out of storage. Um, it's, what, the end of uh, March, almost April, and it's only 40 degrees here in Ohio. It's been a brutal winter, I think, everywhere in the U.S. So anyways, all winter long, being stuck in a house, I've thought of a lot of things I want to do. As you can see from the videos before, I built this wall, did some reinforcing, some fixing, some reinsulating, some roof fixing. There's a lot to this thing. But like I said in a lot of my videos, I like to use stuff that I have laying around. Repurpose wood, repurpose whatever. Uh, it's not that I can't go buy a new one, it's kind of turned into like an obsession just to see how, how I can rebuild this thing without putting a ton of money into it. It's been pretty fun. Alrighty, I got it all ripped out. And as I expected, there's some water damage. You can see all that rotted wood right down that corner. Um, it's a little wet now, so I, I know where the leak's coming from. I can see it from in here. So I'm going to rip all that out and put some new wood in there. It doesn't go that far. It's just right in the corner. All this back here is dry. That's all dry on this side. Down here on the bottom, right there. It's good from there over, bad from there over. Bad to about right here, and then it's good back in there. So that and the floor is crappy, so i got to replace the floor. And I knew that the floor going here and going out over the steelers, underneath the steelers thing, you know, the doorway going into the bathroom. It's got some soft spots, so I wanted to replace that wood. So I knew I was going to be into some wood repair, so here we go. hope this doesn't turn into a giant ordeal. Well, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. All right, I tore it all out, the whole floor. The whole bathroom, tore it all out. I knew I was gonna have to do this. So, there was some water damage right up there. Drippity, drippity, drip. And it rotted all this out, just like in the front, like I did before, so this isn't new to me. Absolutely no floor, that's just all aluminum. Can't step on it. You like stepping on the drywall or your attic roof and fall through. It's not, you know, if you step on a joist, which is a frame, you're right. So I'm going to use 2x4s here because I have them. They're used, but I'm going to use them again. And I'm going to put a new floor in. I'll just put a new piece of half inch plywood over top of whatever I build here. And of course I'll overbuild the heck out of that there. And I'm going to put a shower in it, like I said before. And the shower is probably going to go, what I was thinking is the whole length of here, right up to this area here. Back here, I'm going to do the whole area as a shower. There's the shower faucets that are there. There's a hole in the floor. Which, that's where the drain was for the shower, because the shower was real small before. It was like puny. I don't know how you took a shower in there. So, um, I took the sink okay, out. Don't I'm be back. Too Look what I've done. I've ripped it all out, and I've used a lot of repurposed 2x4s I had. Um, yeah, I just cut all this whole section out. And what I did is, I, I looked for, everybody's going to ask, how did you find, you know, what's attached to and what's the strong point? What I did is just look for frame rails underneath that aluminum, that aluminum plate down here. This stuff, this is like nothing. I mean, that's like stepping on drywall in your attic. You're going to go right through it. So what I did is I just found frame rails. Like this 2x4 here and that 2x4 are both on frame rails, so they're solid. Solid as a rock. So I just started tying stuff in together. You know, I... If you look here, how there's a piece of the old, and I tied it in on each side, screwed it through so it sandwiched that piece in there. Um, did the same all the way down, so I have somewhere to screw my new flooring down. It's half inch floor, I already bought new. Um, and here's inside the bathroom, uh, that's, that's the pooper. And <laughs> this is where the shower, I'm going to make the shower, like I said, go probably about right here, the whole length of here. So I cut out any of the old dry rotted cancer wood there replace some two by fours everything's structurally strong now now it's just a matter of making it look pretty so i'm going to start on putting the floor in next get the floor in then i'm going to run all the plumbing and stuff i'll do the walls last i, I went to home depot and i think i'm going to buy it's like uh this right here is aluminum, but it's it's a, it's a white panel. It's for bathrooms. It's just a flat panel. It's like 12 bucks, 13 bucks a sheet. Probably need two or three of them because I'm going to do the ceiling too since I had to rip into it. 
And then the floor, I still don't know what I'm going to put on the floor. I think I'm going to try to match up this beautiful linoleum they have in here. I think I can find this in your retro 70 department of Home Depot for this beautiful retro green spotted great tile linoleum. It probably has, it's probably made out of, knowing my luck, it's probably asbestos because <laughs> this thing was made in 1974. But okay, this is Billy D, and I will get back to you guys here in a little bit. Once Alrighty, I, get I got the floor in. in. Well, half of it. It's a beautiful day too. Look at that sun. Ah, almost 70 degrees today. Finally getting warm, which is really giving me a lot of enthusiasm to get this done. All right, I got that done, and as you can see, I put some pink foamage. I think it's inch and a half down. Not that I use it in the winter time at all, but. Boy, I tell you, when I, when I skimped out in the front of it, when I built the front, I didn't fill every crevice back with uh, insulation. Like, see that itchy, 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 itchy stuff there? Oh, I'm so allergic to it. It stinks. But the sun's hitting this wall out here, and it's amazing how hot this wall is compared to, like, this wall here where there's insulation. So insulation's important in the summertime just as much as wintertime. So, all right, Billy D here, and I am almost done here. I'm going to cut out the rest of the floor there. That's where the drain's going to go down. I don't have a holding tank, so I just leach it out. And I'll get this floor done and get on the walls next. i got to insulate them. All right, stay tuned. All right, I got my shower stall built. You see it's built up, I think it's about four inches high. And what I did is I stretched tweed all through there. And I have to trim it off yet. There's the drain. It'll go in there. Once I get the tweed all done, I'm going to trim it and I'll run some staples on there to make sure it doesn't pull out. Then I'll coat it with uh, polyester resin, fiberglass resin. So it, it'll be fine. I used to do this back when I used to make car stereo woofer boxes. So a good coating of fiberglass on this will be fine. It's structurally strong. It's just really to waterproof it. All right, let me, uh, that's going to be the stinky part though. Whew, that stuff really stinks. But all right, let me uh, let me get ready to pour this. I'll come back after I pour. Okay, it. progress update report. Get the shower done, painted. It's not perfect, but it'll work perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna do the plumbing now. Get all the cabinets out. I have a 10 gallon tank I bought. It's 2,000 watt, uh, 10 gallon, 110 volt. Cool deal. Uh, I still have to put insulation and all that paneling up. I, I regret doing that the most. I just I hate it. It's all trim work. All right, I'm gonna do the plumbing and I'll. Get all right, let's give you an update. What's going on here? Got all the insulation done. Yeah, I used white foam because it was cheaper. I did pink foam up front, which has a better R value, but that's cheaper. And it's just the bathroom. Now that's metal. I haven't cleaned any of that yet. I ordered. I used the old spigots. These were the original 40 year old spigots. I took them apart and put new O-rings and that little washer in the back of it, and they worked perfect. Uh, no drips, no leaks, no nothing. So I needed a, a shower head. I got this off eBay for, I think like $14 or something like that. It was brand new. But I'll put a trim. I gotta like silicone this, and I'm gonna put a trim around that. And then I'll do the same when I put the other white, for whatever the heck it's called, I'm putting up there. And that'll be wrapping it up. I got the. The commode's all done. I put a valve on it so I could plumb it. Floor's done. Um, the transition between the two, it's about hmm, 16th or almost a, almost an eighth of an inch because this was made with real half inch plywood. And that's the new stuff, which I don't even know what they call it. A little, uh, 17, 30 seconds or some crazy crap like that. But it's closest they have the three quarter. And I'm gonna put, uh, I was gonna put linoleum in here, but you know what, I got a bunch of carpet, and it's really good carpet, so I'm gonna carpet it. And if it lasts two, three years, it lasts two, three years, and I change it out. But I did get all the plumbing done. Oh, plumbing nightmare. Like always, anytime you do plumbing. All right, it, it's a spaghetti mess underneath there, and look it. Yes, I did the hot and water, or the hot and cold on the wrong side, so I had to cut it and exit. But it works, there's my spigot there, which was a a new spigot. It was I changed the spigot for somebody and I kept this one and I just have to get a new head for it. It's just like the shower head. But it works perfect. And I put the water heater in or the water hot water tank. It's a 10 gallon, 110 volt, 2000 watt. 
uh, hot water tank, which my generator runs, but no problem. I was just wondering about that just in case. So there's the plumbing. It's nothing great. Um, I made a new access pipe outside just so it's easier to hook up this year. That's my drain pipe. Yes, I reduced it down to three quarters from inch and a inch and a quarter down to three quarter. Just makes it. I don't put much down the sink, so it doesn't matter to me. So that's it. And there's the water for the for the toilet. I ran it underneath the camper because I don't use this any kind of cold climates. And in the winter, I pull all the water out of the pipes and fill. Oh, yeah, I got all the walls up. You know, don't make fun of all my big gaps and everything. The trim work will cover that. <laughs> I use some silicone to seal everything off. Hopefully it doesn't leak anywhere. That's horrible there, but I'll use trim to cover it. Trim around the window. I even did the ceiling. So, yep, just got the water heater getting fired up right now. Let's see approximately how long of a shower time I'm going to get. You know, nothing crazy pressure-wise, just enough to, you know, suds you up and get you clean. I want to see how... Uh, how much time I got with 10 gallons All of water. Right. Carpet's in. I didn't put any cabinet doors back on yet. That's next. I left them off while I was putting the carpet in. Yes, I put carpet in it. Yes, I know it gets moisture, but I don't care. It'll be nice and carpety and quiet and soft on my feet when I walk on it. And if it goes bad in two years, I'll change it because it was free. So it came out pretty good. Um, I have to still put a shower curtain up. It's really white in there. Everything's white. I painted this wall in here too. I painted the wall white. So it's really white in here. Who's calling me? So, all right, let me get you uh, one more video once I get the it's in. shower curtain up. Shower's done. Hot water tank's in. All new plumbing. Made the refrigerator work on 110 volts now. It used to only work on propane. $17 part fixed it. <clears throat> uh, didn't do too much up here. Just cleaned a little bit. I still have to give her a good scrub down. Um, but all the magic was in the blue room. Oh, my shower curtain rod. Piece of PVC tube. I bent it around. Works perfect. You can see it screws in up there. Alright, anyways, there's showers all done. Works fine. It's a little wet in there right now because I was just running it, but I have a little loop to hold this rubber hose. But anyways, toilet's back in, working, flushing. I put the medicine cabinet over here because it was over there. I don't want it in the shower, so I put it over there. Uh, framed in the window, all new Marlite, whatever the heck this stuff is. Everything's new in here except this metal piece right here. Floor, everything. All newage and new carpet which I did in two pieces this is all one piece and I seamed it right over here so yeah I know it's carpet and I know if it's muddy and if it's raining it's gonna get wet I have some runners I'll throw down but that's about it man I got a 10 gallon hot water tank in here now I don't know if you can really see it in here but it's up underneath there all new plumbing everything was replumbed new faucets and like I said the floor is solid as a rock now it's not all before it was like walking on a waterbed now it's like walking on concrete so the thing was is I had to fix the floor so as I was fixing the floor I added a shower and a hot water tank all right this is Billy D I hope you enjoyed this 2014 season rebuild again on the camper I don't know how many more years this thing's gonna last but she's still going strong all right everybody this is once again Billy D and I hope you enjoyed my little ultimate makeover camper rebuild part five or six, whatever the heck it is. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this and I love your comments. This is one of my best videos I've ever made as far as people leaving great comments and I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, it's Billy D. Thanks a lot.